Hello everybody, I am back today with a comparing video, this time between two ukuleles. So this will be a comparison video. Now anyways, it's definitely been a while since I last done a comparing video, so I figure why not do one. And I have three comparing videos that I have been wanting to do, but forgot about them for a while. Until just recently, I realized I had a couple videos I've been wanting to do. And this is obviously one of them. I have two other I have two other comparing videos, which those will be coming out soon. So yeah. Anyways, on to the video. Now the U the blue ukulele, which is the one on the left. Um actually wait, I, I don't know why I just said that one first. I meant to say the red one. Anyways, um the red ukulele, I got this one first. Um I got this one at I'm um, trying to remember what was the name of the fair I went to. Oh yes, the Durham Fair. I got this for twenty bucks, and which is actually a good deal for a used ukulele that I could not pass up. And then this blue one right here, this blue ukulele, I got this one at Newburyport Comics for I think about I want to say around forty dollars, thirty or forty dollars, somewhere around there. Because this one was more expensive than this one because this one I bought this one I bought new this one I buy used so it's a difference in price but yeah that's one difference that I can point out for the comparing video anyways um, right off the bat there's a bunch of differences with these two um, the size is a little different. It's different. This one is is bigger than that one because this ukulele is has a more beefy look to it. This one has a more skinny look to it. And then this one, like a typical ukulele, has four strings. This one has six strings, which is really interesting because most ukuleles have four strings. And I was thinking this one would have four strings when I bought it, but. It, until I discovered that six when I first held it. And that took me a few years to track down this one. And then obviously, um, one thing that's the same though is the, the frets. The frets are pretty similar. They're the same color. Um, they're both a gold color. Well, the lines on the frets. The color of the frets, the back color is different. This one's brown. This one is black. Um... The string holders, they're the same color. These are both silver. And then these two right here are white. Uh, strings are the same color. Difference is though, um, the two high strings on this ukulele have a have like a color on the end. This fifth string has a green color. The sixth one has a red color. The sound holes are similar. The design's similar, but the this one has a more psychedelic detailing on it. This one just has like a bland, a bland blue on it. And then this one says, um, this one, uh, it says the name of the ukulele, which the name is UK Lochness, which is an interesting name for ukulele. And it says eucadelic, which I believe that's a UK term. I'm not sure what kind of term that is. And then this one, um, you can't really see the details inside because it's faded. Because I've had this for about five, ye five years. I'm trying to think, how long have I had it for? Actually, I've had it for six years, I just remember. Because I got this ukulele in 2017. So I've had this for six years. This one I've only had for a year, because I bought this last year at Newburyport Comics at North Shore Mall. And I'm trying to see what the detail says on this one. Um, I'll let you know what it says, because it's kind of hard to read it, because it's faded. Um, it says it's made in China, like that other one. This one does not have a black sticker in it like that one does. This one just has red words printed inside of it. Um, and it was made in 2017, like it says there. Um, the name of the ukulele, it says it's an, it's a UFW International. So I think it's an, I believe it's an international ukulele. I could be wrong. 
Let me know in the comments what brand this ukulele is made from because to me, this ukulele resembles um, John Lennon's first guitar he ever bought, which was a Galatone champion. This ukulele resembles um, George Harrison's guitar, the uh, Gibson J200 that he used in his later years. So, uh, yeah. And then obviously the strings on this one are really soft. These ones, it's more, has a rough feeling and the strings, the strings are made the same way as a guitar, which is why they're rough. This one's official ukulele strings. But they both sound similar though, actually. Here, I'll play them out right now, just to see the tone. They sound similar, but the tone is different. This one has a more brighter tone to it. This one has a darker tone to it. Just because the strings are different. Like, the strings on this one are thin. Soft and thin. This one, it's thick and rough. And then the tuners are the same, though. They're both white. And then the backs of these are pretty similar. Right off the bat, they're pretty similar. Differences with the tuners, um, this one has the metal, has a metal part on it, like most guitars and ukuleles do, it has like a metal screw insert right there, and this one has a sticker saying made in China, this one does not have the metal, the metal screws inserted into it, instead, um, the tuners just have a screw on top of them, and they're like built into the mold. But, I mean, they're both the same color, though. They're both white. And they both look very similar. And, yeah. And then another difference is... Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier in this video. Um, when I bought this blue ukulele, it came in this black case I have right here. I forgot to point that out earlier in this video. This one did not came with, come with a case. It just came by itself with um, a pick, and then it came with um, a pack of replacement strings. This one just came in the case. And this one has a guitar stra a strap holder where you can put a strap on it if you want to. This one does not have it. Instead, this one just has... Um, a silver a silver rod that holds the strings in place this one has a brown a brown a brown rod that supports the strings in place and this one's made of pla this one's made of wood this one is made of metal and then this one has a separately applied um, plastic piece this one's built into the mold but it's the same color though And then the insides of these are a different color. This one's a brighter color. That one's a, I mean, darker color. Sorry, that one's a darker color. That one's a lighter color. And then obviously the colors are different. This one's red. This one's blue. It's another obvious difference. So, yeah. And uh, I'm trying to think. Another, one more thing I forgot to mention, um, for the string holders, this one, this one is fully silver. For this one, um, the top is silver, this part right here, the bottom part is white. So that's another difference. And then for the tuners, um, these are, these are, they're both the tuners are on the back, but the difference is these ones are sticking out. These ones are completely hidden. Like, you can only see them when you turn it around. This one, though, is sticking out, like with most of the ukuleles. As well as the guitars and basses. But, um, yeah. Now, another difference is, this one has the words printed on it. This one does not have any words printed on it. In fact, there's no words printed on this, this ukulele at all, except in the inside of it. 
This one's got the words printed inside of it and on the top right there. And then it has a sticker on the back. That one doesn't. But yeah. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.